Here it is, folks. They're not even hiding it anymore. The United Nations continued their fear-mongering this week by using climate change as the excuse to drastically change the way things are done on this planet. There's only one change I'd make if I were President of the United States. Leave the UN. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me once again here on MRC TV. I'm Nick Kingadis. The UN has been holding its 24th Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, otherwise known as its hashtag friendly name, COP24. At the conference, former presidents of the previous UN climate conferences issued a joint statement in which they called for, and they couldn't have made their sentiment any clearer, a radical societal change. Quote, the impacts of climate change are increasingly hard to ignore. We require deep transformation of our economies and societies. Spooky language. Look, we know that global governmental bodies like the UN and the EU are hell-bent on their utopia of globalist world domination, but rhetoric like the statement I just quoted should make the whole world stand up and take notice. This isn't about climate change, it never was. If it was, then why did the powers that be change the name of the only religion they believe in, global warming, to climate change in the last decade? Because it's complete bullshit. Why do global governmental bodies like the UN do anything they do? It's simple, for power and control over the populace. Think about it. First they change the way we think through the criminal act of indoctrination in the school system, while at the same time they brainwash the adults by constructing the media in a way that misleads and misinforms people. Think the shell game. They give you a snippet of truth in their reporting, but they misdirect so much that we're never really sure which part of the story is true. When people started questioning both the school system and the media, what did they do? The powers that be brought in entertainers to attempt to mold the way we think about the world. All of that leaves global politicians free to do what they will behind the scenes, changing laws and putting in place radical concepts. And all of this in an effort to assert their control over all of us. That's why, for them, climate change is the perfect tool to pull the wool over the eyes of a larger-than-you'd-think portion of us. The climate is always changing. That's why whoever came up with the idea to change the term global warming to climate change is absolutely brilliant. If I change the thermostat in this room one degree, that's climate change. If the wind outside changes from three miles an hour northeast to four miles an hour southwest, that's climate change. If I moved to a place of higher elevation where the air is thinner and the temperature is naturally colder, that's climate change. You think that was the only quote from the conference to worry about? Think again. UN General Assembly President Maria Espinoza said the following. We need to act urgently and with audacity. Be ambitious, but also responsible for the future generations. Spooky language. <laughs> Designed to scare and control primitive people. Was that not enough fear-mongering for you? Well, allow me to feed you, baby birds. I'm Jad Abdullah, the chief negotiator for the Alliance of Small Island States, said this. A failure to act now risks pushing us beyond a point of no return with catastrophic consequences for life as we know it. These people, whose names most of us have never heard of before, unfortunately have procured enough global power to be dangerous to a rational way of life. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply presenting to all of you the facts about the way these people who have no interest besides complete control over all of us operate. Arm yourself intellectually. Know the aims that the people who we don't even know have for the future of civilization. I said it at the top and I'll say it again. It's way past time to leave the United Nations. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and give a bionic elbow to that notification bell so you know when MRC TV comes out with a new video. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingadis.